Every now and then you need some hope. And then I became chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff in 1989. I had 28,000 nuclear weapons under my supervision. A world without nuclear weapons is not today's world simply subtracting nuclear weapons. You've got to change people's hearts and minds and apprehensions and fears and distrust. We have to have ideas, we have to have strength, and we have to have strength of purpose. Nuclear weapons don't necessarily serve as a deterrent to the issues you're dealing with. That is not a posture we ought to look gladly to pass down to our children and grandchildren. We've got to figure out how to dismount this tiger. A couple of hundred million people killed immediately with a hundred weapons, but a billion people dying over the next five years because of starvation. We're talking about the future of God's world. I mean, in the existence of mankind here, that's the stakes. We look at the Cold War experience that it seemed like a pretty impossible thing. But we kept at it together, and eventually it got better. Our military people, uh, they did a great job. And the Soviet military people were careful, and they were professional with their, the way they handled nuclear weapons. But we were also lucky. The next treaty we're looking at with Russia is going to involve verifying not just missiles, but warheads themselves. This is a fundamentally much more difficult verification task. But the world's got a stake in what happens in India and Pakistan. The world has a stake in what happens in the Middle East. So we've got to set an example between the United States, Russia, and NATO. We talk about the danger of nuclear terrorism. If it was to happen, the probability that bomb comes from Pakistan is higher than any other country in the world. We have to have allies who work along together. We have to engage the people who are difficult. The United States and Russia need to move away from the posture we're in now, where we have thousands of weapons that could be shot in an hour, hour and a half. If we both moved away from that posture, nuclear weapons would become less relevant.